Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the cumulative distribution function. Now before we start, what I want to do is just show you a general probability density function given by f of x. I've just called this section g of x. It can be any curve or whatever in this section between x1 and x2 and then outside of x1 and x2 we have that f of x is equal to 0 otherwise which is given by this straight line, straight horizontal line here. Now what is the commutative distribution function? Well the commutative distribution function is called f of x. It's a capital F that we use f of x and what it is it gives the probability of being less than or equal to a given observed value x. So for instance if I was looking at f of a okay what it is it's the probability of being less than or equal to an observed value a from the probability density function f of x. So I've got my value a here and that probability is given by this shaded area. Okay, We discussed that in an earlier tutorial that probability is the area under the curve. So probability x is less than or equal to a then is this particular area. That area can be worked out by doing an integral. f of a the probability of being less than or equal to a, this shading, is given then by the integral from minus infinity. Now minus infinity is the lower limit of f of x up to a. And we integrate with respect to x the probability density function f of x. OK, well let's just see this in practice and I will run through an example for you. So here I've just recapped what we were discussing that f of a represents the probability of x being less than or equal to a and I've got a sketch of say a probability density function f of x and that area is given by the integral of f of x with respect to x from the lower limit of your distribution minus infinity to a. Alright, and here's a typical question. f of x equals 3 eighths of x squared for x between 0 and 2 inclusive and 0 otherwise. So, first part we've got to sketch the probability density function f of x. So I'll just put it over here so if we're sketching this probability density function I'm going to have my vertical axis which is going to be f of x. We have a horizontal axis which is the random variable x and we're interested between naught and 2 so we'll put that as naught and we'll have that as 2. And between 0 and 2 we have 3 eighths x squared. Well this is a quadratic function, it's plus x squared, it's going to be basically a parabola. The full parabola would look something like this going through the origin but we're just picking it up between 0 and 2 so we're going to have something along these kind of lines. When x is 0 you'll see that f of 0 gives 0 so it goes through the origin. When x is 2, you've got 1 and a half. Okay, so that goes up like so to 1 and a half, 3 over 2. And then it's 0 otherwise. So if I just draw that in like that and like that, there you go. There's the probability density function. You might want to drop a dotted line down there, that's up to you. Alright, so our probability density function f of x. 
Now, in the next part of the question, we're asked to find f of 1. What does that mean? Well, it means that if this point, say, was 1, then f of 1 is the probability of being less than or equal to 1, which is given by this area here. So, how would I do that? Well, for part 2 then, let's just put it here. f of 1, remember, is equal to the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. And that is given by the integral of f of x, so that's f of x being 3 eighths x squared, so I'll just pop that in there, 3 eighths x squared, with respect to x, going from the lower limit, minus infinity, well, minus infinity, the lower limit that we need to concern ourselves with, is just simply that zero, because we know that everything else below this is zero. So the lower limit is zero, and the upper limit here is going to be one. So we integrate the probability density function, f of x, with respect to x, from naught to one. Okay, so what is the integral of 3 eighths x squared? Well, if we have 1 to the power, that's x cubed, divide by 3, and then 3 eighths times x cubed over 3 gives 1 eighth x cubed. So just have that as 1 eighth x cubed. I'm going to put the 1 eighth outside of a square bracket. Okay, you don't have to do that, but it makes it a lot easier. And the limit's between 0 and 1. So if we substitute the 1 in for x, we're going to have 1, 1 cubed is 1, and substitute the 0 in, you get 0. 1 take away 0 is 1, so you're just left with 1 eighth. Alright? Okay, so that is f of 1. The probability of being less than or equal to 1 is 1 eighth. That area is 1 eighth. Now for part 3, we've got to find the general cumulative distribution function f of x. Now we know that over this interval, f of x, the probability of being less than any value 0 here, will in fact be 0. And we also know that if we take any value of x above 2, f of x will be 1. We're guaranteed to have any value less than any value more than 2. What we need to consider is the interval from 0 to 2. So what I'm going to say is consider x over the interval 0 to 2. So to do this, I've got to integrate from the lower limit, naught, to any general value, x. Now in the last example, we looked at 1. But let's just change this now to any general value. We'll call that general value x. So we're integrating from naught to x, f of x, which was 3 eighths, x squared with respect to x. This integral we did before, it was 1 eighth of x cubed, going between the lower limit, naught, to this point x in general. So what I need to do is substitute x in, first of all, for x, so that's just going to remain as x cubed. So I'm going to have 1 eighth of x cubed and then minus the value I get when I substitute 0 in. And when I replace x with 0, 0 cubed is 0. So really what I've got is just simply 1 eighth of x cubed. So now I can put all of this together and define f of x. And we do this by putting it down with a brace like this. All right? And we start from 
left and work our way to the right hand side. Now when x is any value less than zero the probability of being less than or equal to zero is always zero in this particular example. So we say that f of x is zero when x is less than or equal to zero. Now we're going to look at this stretch between naught and two. And between naught and two, f of x was always equal to one eighth of x cubed. Because of lack of space here, I'm just going to write this as x cubed over eight. And it's this function when x is anywhere between naught and two, inclusive. So I'm going to write that as naught is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to two. X is between naught and two. And finally, when we take any value of x more than two, then f of x is always one. All right. That is the probability of being less than or equal to any number that is more than two will be guaranteed to be one. So we put one there for values of x more than or equal to two. And so that's how we define f of x in general for this probability density function. Now this brings us to the end of this tutorial where I've looked at finding the commutative distribution function f of x but you do get examples which are harder than this and in my next video I'd like to show you one of these examples.